If you are thinking about recording video lectures, we invite you to take a look at these statements. If all or most of them are true, recorded video lectures might be a good option for you. What you will need include a computer or a tablet if you want to draw on the screen, a microphone to properly record your voice. We recommend one of these, Panapto, Camtasia, or Zoom. They are easy to use, and Hong Kong U has support for this software. Panapto, Camtasia, and Zoom have their unique features. Panapto is better integrated with Hong Kong U's Moodle system. Camtasia has better editing functions. Zoom is commonly used for online meeting, so you might feel it more familiar. You can look at this comparison before making decision. Okay, suppose you have decided to record videos. There are still some questions you might want to think about. Will students watch your videos? How to make an one-hour lecture to several short videos? How to deal with complex concepts that require a whiteboard to explain? There are useful insights from Dr. K. S. Lui in this video that may help you answer some of the questions. Check it out. 我係 Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering 嘅 Dr. K. S. Lui。我喺 Department 最主要工作咧就係教 computer programming。係咁喺兩三年開始咧，我就用個 flipped classroom 嘅 approach 去 deliver 我個 course。The most important point of making a video is to keep it short. Shall we hear how Dr. Lui keeps her video short and also engaging? 咁所以我將咧我一個鐘嘅 lecture 咧都將佢斬成每一個細嘅部分啦，就盡量喺七分鐘裏面完成。咁誒可能我細第一個部分就首先講一啲嘅理論啦，咁然後咧就將另外一部 example 就會喺個第二部分啦，咁然後將啲同學成誒出現出現嘅問題咧做第三個部分。Secondly. We recommend having multiple elements in a video. If I keep talking and talking, you will soon turn off the video. Students will do the same. As Dr. Loy highlighted, it would be great to have multiple elements. For example, theories, common problems, and illustrations. Equally important is to provide incentives to your students. Multiple elements are good. Short videos are good too. Having some incentives will make them great. 咁我點樣樣去啊鼓勵同學做咧？我就係放一啲嘅 Moodle quiz questions， 誒同埋啲 video 一齊放上誒放上去啊啊 Moodle 上面嘅。咁咧就啊啊 Moodle questions 一佔分唔重嘅，但係會計分。同埋咧，我亦都唔係要求同學一定要答得啱，只要佢哋咧有嘗試去答過咧，咁我哋會俾分嘅。Recommendation three: Providing incentives through quizzes or assigning marks to the tasks associated with the video. Remember, the purpose is to encourage students to watch videos, so your tasks should be able to distinguish those who watched and those who didn't. 另外一樣嘢咧就係咧，呢啲 we 呢啲嘅 Moodle quiz 嘅 questions 咧，可以俾同學明白到佢係咪真係未理解到 natural video 所講嘅嘢，因為咧有啲有啲問題咧係。比較深入啲嘅，例如問佢啊，而家個 lecture video 講呢樣嘢，如果我將呢樣嘢轉成點樣之後，究竟係點咧？咁呢個係要刺激佢嘅思考，亦都即係俾佢知道啊，原來我睇完呢啲 video 究竟明唔明裏邊講咩嘢嘅。The fourth recommendation is to use in-depth questions to check your students' understanding of the content. Try not to just ask them to remember things. Rather, test if they can apply them to a different scenario. Now you've got some ideas about engaging lecture videos. What about you have some concepts or equations that you usually use a whiteboard to explain in class? The fifth recommendation: your whiteboard is still there, just in a different form. Let's see how it will be shown on your video screen. The return type of to string must be string. No parameter is needed. Integer dot to string face value returns a string representing the face value. This will make sure the type of the value returned is the same as the return type needed in this method, which is string. As illustrated before, you need a tablet and a suitable software. Dr. Loy used Camtasia. You can also consider other tools.
。咁當我錄呢啲 video 嘅時候咧，我就會係幾年前嘅時間啦。咁我就係嗰當時咧，我用 Camtasia 加一個 tablet 嘅。咁咧就當我錄嘅時候啦，我就可以誒喺 tablet 上面咧一路係用筆去加上一啲附注啦，去講解翻我嘅 lecture。咁咧而家咧我就發覺亦都有好多唔同嘅誒 software 選擇啦，例如 Zoom 啊加上呢個 Apple 嘅啊 i 誒 iPad 咧都可以做到啊依同樣樣嘅效果嘅。Recommendation six: You could check the figures and the patterns to know how your students actually watch the videos. And how many times they have watched each video? 咁因為我咧就將呢啲 YouTube video 誒將呢啲誒 We Let's Show video 去誒等上 YouTube 嘅，咁所以我可可以喺 YouTube 嗰邊咧睇翻誒同同學睇嘅 statistics 嘅。咁我發覺咧平均咧每個 video 咧我係唔止睇咗一次嘅，即係可能我個 class 有二十個同學啦，咁有啲 video 可能睇咗成五十幾次嘅，咁即係可能每個同學平均到可能睇兩至三次。Shall we have a review of those common questions? Short videos, multiple elements, and incentives can encourage students to watch videos. Dividing your lectures into multiple topics will be helpful. Finally, you still have your whiteboard using a tablet and some software. To summarize, using recorded videos allow your students to watch your videos anytime, anywhere. You can also make use of the existing materials. However, there is not much real-time interaction. You might wish to complement recorded videos with synchronous sessions for a better learning effect. We want to thank you, Dr. K. S. Loy, for sharing her experience of creating engaging lecture videos and provided some useful insights. Thank you. If you want to find more information about technology and hands learning at HKU, you can go directly to this link here. You can also find many resources in our CETL website, such as assessment, experiential learning, community practice, and so forth.